What's up guys, SG5 here with one more video for today and we got you Switch or Ditch or in this case Glitch or Ditch with Glitch Flash Pack Galaxy Opal Shaquille O'Neal Center Power Forward 7-1, 325 pounds as you already know this is an insane card if you hear something in the background my dog is going crazy so just ignore that for now I just want to let him be able to play because he can't go outside with me a lot during the quarantine. So, but anyways, 42 Hall of Fame badges and 25 gold badges. <sighs> this is, what is this? 60, 67 total badges. 67 total badges. That is insane. I think the whole game has 75 total. So he pretty much has everything you can imagine. Um, he has guard badges, dribbling badges shooting badges defensive badges rebounding like everything you can imagine catch and shoot corner specialist volume relentless finisher drop stepper put back on range extender and quick draw both on hall of fame that is insane green machine on hall of fame quick first step on hall of fame this clamps this card is game breaking downhill moving truck and downhill combined on hall of fame that's gonna be insane um this card is a glitch literally a glitch um, the only one he doesn't have on Hall of Fame that I care about is Deadeye, but he does have it on gold anyways. He even has Dimer on gold. So this card is, this is something else. This is what I was waiting for. As far as shoes, you want to do the Dame threes on him. I know they don't give him a three-point shot, but he already has a 93-point shot. And with the coach, that's going to be 94. So forget about it. Do the Dame Lillard threes on him and you'll see why. It ups his mid-range to 95, but on top of that, ball handling goes up to 86 so he can speed boost. Pass accuracy to 87 for when he gets double team. Steel goes up to 88 so it's actually decent and his speed with the ball goes up to 88. That's close to a 90 for Shaq. That's insane. The rest of the stats are amazing. His three-point shot is at 90. His post fade is the only weak uh, spot in the, po in the post with an 89 but it's still not too bad everything else is a 98 or 99 his draw foul is a 99 as well driving and standing dunk 99 and 98 free throw is a 90 that's gonna be crazy um his ball handling and passing numbers even without the shoe they're already good block 98 still 88 perimeter defense at 85 is really good and interior defense at 99 no one is stopping this card no one is getting by this card Offensive and defensive rebounds, 98 and 99. Speed numbers, vertical, strength, stamina, hustle. Lack quickness is the only thing that's, an, you know, it's not optimal, but still 88 is very, very good for a 7'1", 325-pound center. Everything else is insane as far as his tendencies. Flashy, standing, driving, alley-oop, dunk, all of them are at 100. So this card, it will do everything. And putback tendency even is at 88, so it's still really good. Let's quickly go ahead and try them out on Freestyle. And guys, please remember to like this video if you do. And also, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Turn on the bell for the notifications. I would really appreciate your support, guys. Okay, so let's go. So, 7-1-3-25, it looks big. How about them dribble moves, though? Let's see. He feels a little bit slow. However, <laughs> that's... Uh, slow for how big he is but he's still very fast oh yeah he can still move across very fast oh his behind the back is good they gave him a shooting guard or small forward behind the back they gave him a really good behind the back it moves a lot faster than most centers so that is something that's huge that is huge for this card that is definitely huge and he's moving pretty good. Wow. He's actually moving pretty good. I haven't taken a shot with him yet. I just want to see what, what that ends up being like. But let's try it. Let me look at his hotspots. Holy shit. Everywhere is a hotspot. Release though. Okay. Um, not super fast. But definitely a lot faster than any Shaq. And the green window seems to be reasonable, actually. Very reasonable. That's four greens in a row. 
he is definitely not going to make everything. Um, and he, of course, he doesn't have the release of uh, KD or something like that. But let me adjust that. There we go. Just got to adjust it a little bit. It's definitely not the worst. Definitely not the worst. Yeah. If you adjust it just a little bit, you'll be greening quite a few um, with this Shaq. I don't know if he's necessarily going to be passing the um, GOAT test, though, just because of his release. But let's try it. There's a green. 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 Okay, so we've already seen his behind the back and it is really good. Let's take a look at some other stuff for this Shaq. I mean, he, he moves like a guard, look at that. He moves like a freaking guard. Bam, that's nice. There you go. He he definitely has pretty much all the dribble moves of a guard. His release is the only thing that is going to take me a little while to get used to. And the reason for that is because even though he can green quite a few, uh, the green window is not like super huge. And he does have a hitch in his shot. And that hitch sometimes makes you um, shoot early. So it's something to keep in mind. Kind of reminds me of Dwayne Wade from 2K19. He had a hitch that made you, like, it's just visually makes, makes you want to shoot early. But once you get used to it, there we go. Once you get used to it, you'll start greening, you know. It just takes a little while. But I'm sure that it'll be fine. If this is the worst thing about this shack, then... It's definitely going to be a great card. Okay, his post fade, and that's only an 89, of course. And again, I don't expect his post fade to be the best. But still, it's not the worst either. He does get uh, quite a bit of distance on it, so it's pretty good. Oh, man, but when you talk about drop stepping with this shack, though... That's that's gonna be something else though. That's gonna be something else. This Shaq drop stepping and, and, and spinning out the way though, that's gonna be something else. Um I can already feel it. This is gonna be a really, really insanely good card in the post. Oh man. Even when I don't green them, they still go in. That's crazy. Okay. Ooh, let me see if he can do a Hesse. It's actually not too bad. His Hesse is actually not too bad. Let's go, Shaq. Let's take you to gameplay, MTU. We match up against a Pink Diamond and Diamond team. Where's Shaq at? That was my bad. That was a very late release. He still got it in, though. Let's try to get Shaq running point here. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's too easy. Give it to Shaq. Oh, he's going all the way. He is going all the way run this with Shaq okay let's open it up now quick first step no foul but it still goes in and we're dealing against um, PD Elijah one so definitely a good matchup here Shaq with the rebound and he's going all the way move and one oof almost Oof. Man, he is so fast, though. 
he is so fast. If you get him on the break, by the time their center turns around, it doesn't matter who it is, Shaq is gone. Damn! Oh, come on! That is a Ben Simmons point guard move right there. Man, I am sure these free throws are bad, and they're still going in because he has a 90% free throw rating. There we go, Shaq with the block. Good assist by Shaq to AD. They started to pinpoint, um, focus on the fact that I was using Shaq, so I'm gonna have to play with the rest of the guys for a little bit. Oh shit, he's fast. <laughs> that is all quick first step and that's it. Damn, Shaq. Damn, Shaq. I don't like that his um, takeover is glass cleaner though. Not a fan of that. I'm sure if I change the shoes to um, something else. Let's go, Shaq. Oh, -hoo -hoo. unstoppable. Shaq for three. Excellent green. Let's go. Let's go. 27 points in the second quarter. Move out the way, bro. Just move out the way. Shaq with the rebound. Great pass to D Wade. Is it going back to Shaq? Yes, it is because he is running the court like a point guard. Man, this Shaq is just so fast. 33 points in the second quarter. Damn, he is so fast. He is so fast. Again, 37 now for Shaq. Oh, you don't leave Shaq alone like that. You do not do that. Oh, let's go, Shaq. Wide open. 41 now for Shaquille O'Neal. There we go, Shaq again. 46. It does look like we're going to lose this game, though. There's Shaq again to take the lead. Clutch. Shaq to Wade. Shaq to Wade. Clutch points and clutch assist now for Shaq as well. Good defense. And we get the rebound. That's what matters. Oh, Wade is going in. Man, no foul though. Doesn't matter. Wade takes it. Good defense again. It's time for Shaq though. It's time for Shaq to close it 50 points. And we are closing this game. It's over. Good defense. Oh, Shaq is faster than Pistol Pete Maravich. And that is game, ladies and gentlemen. That is game. Oh, who's going <laughs> to... Just foul me, bro. Just foul me, bro. Let's look at Shaquille O'Neal's numbers. He had 52 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 blocks. I was not able to get used to his release in game so that's something i'm gonna have to work on his release is good i just wasn't able to get used to his release in game so definitely definitely have to work that but do i recommend this card most definitely do i think he's worth a million i think he's worth a million you will have to get used to his release a little bit um it's not slow it's just hitchy that's the only thing but it's not a slow release necessarily you have to get used to it, but it, it, he is the best center in the game by far right now. He is unstoppable. He is unstoppable for sure, guys. So this is definitely a switch. Whatever center you have right now, sell it and get Shaq because 
this is definitely an end game center right now dribbles like a shooting guard or a point guard and he can score at will so that's it for now guys hope you like this video please don't forget to like subscribe turn on the bell notifications and we'll see you again soon sg5 out for now